Today we're going to be talking about containerized boiler rooms for permanent installations. We're with Steven Taylor, director of our special projects division as well as the rental division here at Ware. Steven, we're talking a little bit about containerized units. Um, we have rental boilers, got boilers inside of trailers, we've got boilers in uh, stationary uh, rooms. Why would we actually use a boiler inside of a container? One of the reasons that people like to use containers is that uh, it allows them to have a system brought in as a system, set it on site. Uh, they don't have to look for building permits, they don't have to worry about a mechanical contractor, electrical contractor, all of that is done here. We package it all up, send it there, they pour concrete pads, set it on the outside of the building, hook it up and they're ready to go. It's a lot quicker for them once the equipment gets to the job site. The type of containers that um, you use, I mean, what are, what are we doing here? What they're, are we getting they're 40 foot uh, overseas shipping containers, Connex containers, what they call them. And we bring them in and do a lot of modifications. We, you can see the opening, those square openings, that's for exhaust fans for cooling the inside of the unit. Uh, couplings for different connections, we weld those in so that everything is sealed up real well. We put a side door in them, just a lot of things we do to them to, uh, to accommodate a, a boiler room is what it amounts to. All right, so now we're inside the container. Uh, maybe tell us a little bit about uh, this particular shipping container and then what other types of containers that you yeah. use? Well, this is a 40 foot long uh, high cube, so it's nine and a half feet tall, all of them are eight feet wide, shipping container. Um, and, and this is typical, but we can use 20 foot containers for small equipment, 45 foot containers for bigger stuff. Um, and then if you know you, you see what they're doing in here, the, the places you see where they've ground the paint off, that's where they're going to put bracing up for mounting control panels. Um, you can see all the couplings inside, what they do, they seal well these things inside and out so that we get a really good tight fit with the with, uh, with, with way we build these things. So what is the largest size boiler that you could put inside this? I could put a 650 horsepower boiler in here. Um, we typically uh, 550 is about as big as I'll go, but I can go 650 if I have to. If a customer like needed more than 550 or 650 horsepower, mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you do in that situation? Uh, typical project that, that we completed for a, a Russian job, uh, we took three 550 horsepower boilers and four containers. So we had three containers with one 550 horsepower boiler in each one. Then we had the water softener, the feed system, uh, heavy oil heating system all scattered out through the other equipment. Then we actually took and cut the interior walls out where they could slide them all together and it was a see-through, walk-through, complete boiler room, one, one piece package. When you're sending them to places that might, um, I guess, be very in inclement weather where it's really cold or something like that, this. This isn't insulated, so I know you can do a reefer container, but what are some other things that you could do? Um, on that particular project, we didn't have room to do a reefer because a refrigerated container has real thick walls, so we lose a lot of inside diameter, and we couldn't afford that on that job. So we actually sprayed the, the walls and ceiling and floor inside and out with a ceramic insulation that's really thin but has a high insulation value. Over there, we had to withstand 40 below zero Fahrenheit and, and maintain 40 plus inside, so we had a 80 degree delta T we had to maintain in the unit and we were able to do that with some electric heaters. So shipping them over there, um, obviously you get a little better, uh, I guess some, some simpler ways of installing because you can button each, con each container up. Is that a fair way to say that? Yeah, it is. And, and we were also able to design in that system that all the connecting piping, we had a uh, flexible connector that connected the piping from one container to the other. So when they got there, there was no welding, no pipe fitting to do. They just took those flex flexible connectors, hooked these systems up and bolted it all together. Well, the next time that you might have uh, space that's limited, um, you know, this may be a way to, to actually be able to put the boiler room in. Um, so make sure you give the guys a call and see if this is maybe a fit for you. Stephen, we appreciate you hanging out. We'll see you next time. Well, we appreciate Stephen stopping by and talking to us about the boilers inside a container. As we found out, there's a lot of different ways that you can put a boiler inside a container. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and make sure you subscribe to that YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.